Well, they sound like a broken record here this whole past week, really, but it's just so cold and dreary out there. Yeah, well, you know, it's really just maybe one of the downswing spots as far as temperatures go, because we've had so many days above average. That's we had a lot true. of those 70s. It's payback, I feel like. You know, it's natural to get those ups and downs. This is just one of the downer spots as far as temperatures go. It's not bad, it's just cool. Now, cool is a day, very generous term. <laughs> it, well, you know, it's like I, was, I would say cold because later in the seven day, I have at least two days where it's possible to get some frosty mornings. No way. It's possible. But yeah. it's May. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> it is what it is. I have I a look at our radar. It's busy. We've had rain pretty much all day long ever since early this morning. And it's been continuing, well, all day long. Look at that steady, steady rainfall here. There's been two inches plus closer to Saginaw. There's been a couple spots of pea-sized hail out towards the western parts of the state and around Lansing and mid-Michigan. It's just been rain, rain, rain all day long. We do see more rain tonight, but already looking towards Marshall, Hastings, catching some of those breaks. And uh, as we get into the later parts of the night into tomorrow, there's still more rain on the way, but it'll be weaker, more sparse, catching some breaks. Well, temperatures, mid 40s. Yeah, Sarah said it is pretty cool out there. Normal highs this time of year, mid 60s. So this is well below average for this time of year. And breezy winds out of the northeast aren't helping. Well, we have more rain coming in from the south, and uh, it's pretty similar to what we're experiencing now. I mean, there's nothing severe in any of this. Probably a rumble of thunder in central Indiana. Well, that's all traveling northward, but we're going to be on the western edge of it. It's moving just a little bit too far east of mid-Michigan, so it's not a bullseye forecast for that rain. We're still going to see continuing rainfall, but maybe more so towards the eastern parts of the state, mostly east. I say mostly, we'll all still see a few showers. And then, of course, a cool weekend, and it's Sunday night in particular that we'll probably see one of our colder spots could see some frosty mornings. Well, in our future cast tonight, more rain, but look at this. It is moving a little bit off towards our east. We're going to see some breaks here. It's going to become a little bit lighter, more sparse, but still just kind of continuing on and off, not just that long-lasting steady rain that we've been seeing all day. Here's Friday morning. Still bound to see some of those morning showers, and we'll see some of that continuing through Friday afternoon. Heavier amounts will be off towards the eastern parts of the state. So if you're in Hastings or, Ionia, or of course, further west, I mean, there's really not as much rain in that forecast. Mid-Michigan, of course, right in the middle there. Through Friday afternoon and evening, though, more light rainfall. It does kind of break apart. This model even has the clouds breaking apart. I don't know if I trust that. I think the clouds will linger. But into Saturday's forecast, a peak of sun or two in between some few light rain showers out towards, again, the eastern parts of the state. This is a very slow moving system, so it's entirely possible that we'll see just those chances for rain over the eastern half until here's Saturday night into Sunday. Clearing skies. Sunshine does return Sunday. Got to get through the next couple days though. 41 degrees. Your low tonight. Rain does continue again more towards the eastern half of the state. Tomorrow up to about 50 degrees. More light rainfall uh, again, mostly east, but breezy winds out of the north tomorrow. Pretty similar as far as temperatures go. Maybe we'll see some sun in the western half of the state in the next few days. Rain Friday, a few showers Saturday. Sunshine returns Sunday, but with uh, some frost possible Sunday night into uh, same thing for Monday night, Tuesday morning. See some of those lows around the low to mid 30s there. We'll have to pay close attention to those temperatures. But there are a couple of dry, sunny days there, Sarah. So Sunday and Monday, cold mornings, but it will feel very nice, I think, in the afternoon. And more rain is on the way for the middle of next week. I'm not certain about timing there. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you just got a bit of a chance for rain. But I'm going to start working on my arc, I think, in the basement. Gradually <laughs> transfer it outside. It has been a very rainy season. It sure has been. All right, Dustin, thank you.